my name is Jennifer Stay from Coloring Pages Bliss and I wanted to make a short video and show you how I take care of and store my pencil crayons or colored pencils depends on how you say the term how do you say the term why don't you comment below um, this is my uh, 120 set of Prismacolor Premier pencil crayons that I invested in and I wanted to take really good care of them. I know that if you drop these beautiful pencil crayons the core inside will break up into little pieces and when you sharpen them you will be extremely frustrated because it will just fall apart. And these are wonderful buttery pencil crayons that I love to use. Um, my hands, because I have chronic pain, they ache a lot and so I wanted to upgrade to a pencil crayon set that would be easier for me to use and that's why I picked the Prismacolor Premier set. And I've been really happy with them. And so I decided to purchase um, a case to hold them in and organize them in so that I could put them away and um, keep them the tips protected and keep them from falling and the cups tipping over and all of that good stuff <laughs> um, and so this is the case I ended up purchasing this is by Global Art and it's a really nice leather case um, and it has a really nice zipper that the tabs snap down and then zipper open <laughs> My dog is barking a bit here, so if you hear her, she's she's always sitting right next to me about two feet from the camera here. Anyway, so I've organized them by color um, into these cute little uh, elastic sections that will hold about three, they'll hold three pencils. Um, it's pretty snug, but it will hold three. So here you can see how I've organized them by color. Here I'll pan it across the screen. And I had I ended up buying two. I could um, because I wanted to spread them out and be able to mix and match into color families the way I wanted them, and so I could find them easier. And then I bought extra pencils, um, like extra whites, and I had the colorless blenders. And I wanted a place to be able to put some blending stubs. And then this is an extender here that you put on your pencil when it gets too short that you can't hold it so that you can use your um, pencil crayon all the way to the end. And so I have extra room here that I can put in more pencils as I go. Like I recently purchased a set of 12 um, Faber-Castle pencils and I haven't experimented with them yet but they will probably go into here once I'm done so that I can um, play with them and they'll be just as protected as my Prismacolors. Anyway, another tip that I wanted to share with you is how I'm organizing them here. As I color with my pencils, I, I always um, tend to pick three colors together, a light, a medium, and a dark. And um, I found myself spending a lot of time finding combinations that work together the way I like them to work together. and. Then I would find these combinations and then I would go and put them back into this case and kind of lose the combinations and it struck me one day that why don't I keep them since they're so conveniently in threes here in these elastic sets, why don't I keep them together and make a little tag with the color swatch and the numbers and then I can always return them there or remember like this one I think is sharing a color, yeah, the 1001 is shared in these two um, sets. And then um, when I go to color, I can find these sets faster and it will speed up my color choosing process. And when I find a really successful set, I can keep them together. And that has been really uh, fun and success for me to set these colors together like this. And it has made my coloring really fun because um, I can just go oh, I need a purple and if I'm in a hurry I can just grab these sets that um, I've used before or if I go you know I want to try something really new I know to not come to these two sets I can go into some purples that I've never used before and experiment and force myself to try a new palette that I've never used before 
So that's been a really favorite tip of mine. So cut up some tiny little pieces of paper and use some paper clips and put these together and try that out and see if that works for you. Um, it's been really great. It also has pointed out which color families I avoid um, and don't use very often. Um, so I need to do some stretching as a colorist and go into these palettes more often and try something new. So that's been interesting to see. If you have any other tips on how you store your colored pencils, I would love to hear them. I'm always looking for new ideas. We invest a lot of money in these really nice tools and I, I'm always looking for ways to store them um, and use them more efficiently so that um, we get the most out of them and it becomes the most blissful experience possible when we color. Um, if you're looking for some new art to color, please visit my website. It's coloringpagesbliss.com. I have free coloring pages there and also you can become a premium member for just five bucks. And I have a ton of coloring pages there that you can download as PDFs and print right there at home and start coloring immediately. I also have a coloring book you can buy as well. Okay, so let's talk giveaway. I I have something I picked up for you guys at a store the other day. I mentioned it in a video um, that I posted a couple days ago here on my channel. I have these two beautiful sets of stapler pencil crayons that I'd like to share with you guys. Let me um, show you what they look like. And by the way, I have started a bit of a discussion or a debate on my Facebook page all about um, whether you call these little tools pencil crayons or colored pencils. I've discovered that I call them pencil crayons, but the rest of the world seems to call them colored pencils. Um, I'd love to hear what you call them. I think what I've learned from the debate that it's a Canadian thing. I spent the first few years of my life in Canada, and so it seems to be a Canadian thing that I picked up during those years that I call them pencil crayons. So that's why they're called pencil crayons in this video. Um, but it is basically the same thing. It's just a different way that the Canadians use them. So this is the Staedtler pencils that you will be getting in the giveaway. Um, they're triangular. I've never tried a triangular pencil before. It feels really nice in my hand. And it says there's 24 colors here. Um, they're easy to grip and easy to sharpen, it says. I thought I'd try it out here real quick and see how it feels on the paper. Ooh, it goes on soft. That's nice. You guys are gonna like these. Now I wish I had more than just the two sets to give away. Let's see how it sharpens, shall we? Where it's triangle, I wondered. Oh, that's different. It just kind of catches the edges, but it sharpens nice. See? Let me see if you can see that. Sharpens just nice. Okay, so in order to win one of these two beautiful sets of Staedtler pencil crayons or colored pencils, depending on where you come from the world, you have to do three things. It's pretty simple. You need to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Second, you need to like this video. And third, I'd like you to give a comment below. And why don't you give me a comment about your favorite colored pencils? What brand is it? Which ones do you like to use? Which ones do you wish you had? Do you wish you had the polychromos? Do you wish you had a set of Prismacolors like I have? Do you wish you had these beautiful Staedtlers sitting right here? Um, I'd love to know, do you call them colored pencils? Do you call them pencil crayons like I do? Please comment below. So you've got one week to enter. Comes with a really cool bag here so you can put your 24 um, colored pencils into it. Let's open it up and see what that's like. Ooh, that's nice. So to get your chance, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment below the video about colored pencils. And if you wouldn't mind, it'd be a great favor to me if you would share this video. Um, it's pretty easy to share. There's lots of links here below the video. 
and uh, it would really help my channel out if you would share it so that I can keep purchasing cool gifts like this for giveaways for you guys. I hope you learned a lot and have a wonderful, colorful day. Bye.